So as Peach McIntyre continues to heal, during the past few days, she has been putting out a series of videos where she is telling her truth concerning her family and even her husband of the treatment that she received from them during her childhood. Let's take a look at what she says. Literally watch this movie anytime I feel sad or once a week. Um, damn, that's sad, but you be sad once a week, and I do. <laughs> that's so sad. I can't wait that I'll be happy forever, but once I cut my family off, I will be. So in that clip, she was talking about how she loved that movie, Encanto, and, you know, how, you know, the, the young lady that was in the movie, how, you know, she was not the favorite, basically, because she was supposed to do something. Like she was supposed to open a door, I think, and something was supposed to happen. I didn't, I forgot what, the, but it didn't happen. So she thought she was cursing and, and it, you know, it ended up working for her at the end. So she was like, you know, she loved that movie because that's basically her life. And she watches this movie when she's sad and she's usually sad sometimes once a week. And she, you know, alluded to the fact that maybe her family had something to do with her being sad but as soon as she cut them off she will be happy so i guess this is why she did this my whole family still lives in the same neighborhood um my grandma my granddaddy just passed away he lived right here so yeah this is our public housing extremely nice when i tell you my whole family still lives over here it's so i guess this is her way of cutting off a family so she's supposedly showing where her family still lives. We don't know if they live there or not. We can assume maybe, but you know, with social media, who knows? But if you're like me, you know, some people may not know where this place is if they live in the area that she lives in. But if you're like me, that knows a lot of places. Like I live in Florida, I live in Miami. So there are places in Miami I just you know to see a picture and I, I'm like oh that's this place because I know a lot of places in Miami even if I don't have the full picture but I can tell yeah that's this place in Miami Beach or Brickell so some people may be able to do that so it continued I was so happy to see that my husband was over here by all the kiddos bubble ones that made me so Happy he's spending his own money. He's not being selfish this month. I'm so happy. I'm so that was her dragging her husband in this. You know, she had already put him in this. It's, this is the continual um, process of putting him in this. And, you know, how he's um, spending his own money. And he is not being stingy. So that's what she was saying about her husband. Um, whether it's a joke or not. Um... You're supposed to respect your husband, but whatever, you know. But she's hurt, you know, she's hurting. And that's how her hurt is going to get healed, okay? And at the end of the day, because after watching all those videos, and then I found this video. After finding this video, I'm like, maybe all of this is a great market, a genius lady you're a genius a genius marketing scheme because look at what she said here i know i could do it my goal of making fifty thousand dollars today i know i'm finna make it i know in my heart of hearts ain't nothing gonna stop me from making it i feel it in every so that was her going live back in september after she her tiktok supposedly got banned after doing a live and then I believe the day she it got banned, she was like she woke up saying she she she's gonna make fifty thousand dollars a day. That's what that's her goal. And then, you know, that happened. And she knows she's gonna be she's able to make fifty thousand dollars per day. And I'm saying all of this with all of these videos that she's been putting out there, you know, putting out because you know, people we people we nosy people is nosy we just like to know people's business so and if you want to put your business out there people are going to click people are going to click they're going to watch they're going to share 
you know, gonna, they're going to talk about it. They're going to be commentary. So I'm like, maybe everybody's in on this, that, hey, we're going to put out our business there, or, you know, put a little bit of our business there, sprinkled with some not our business, and then so we can make money because, you know, Christmas is around the corner, then you have um, Thanksgiving and different things like that. So this could be a very very smart marketing scheme because nothing is as it seems because i remember the lord said especially in the end of this year nothing is at this is as it seems on this social media so you never know that's that's you know that's a scenario that's an assumption that's something that's plausible but if by happenstance this is actually true everything that she's saying you know what she went through and then she just you know swinging at people swinging at her she's swinging at them different things like that who like i said is just making your life hard it's just making her life hard causing more chaos and whatever you sow you will reap so you sowing hurt that's you gonna keep on reaping hurt that's it so i don't know if it's true i don't know if it's not true i don't know if she's speaking the truth I don't know if she this is just a marketing scheme just to make her fifty thousand dollars per day but this is crazy this is absolutely crazy what is going on anyway that's all i had to say about the situation thank you for watching and i'll see you in another video bye